Hey guys, Lethal Leslie here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to blow this C4 in Resident Evil 2. So let's get into it. So the first area you're going to need to visit is going to be on the second floor. So get your map up, go to the second floor and look for this area. Head up the stairs, into the library, into the lounge and then into this corridor here and into the star's office. So once you're in the star's office, you're going to see there's a battery here. So I'm going to pick that up now and add it to my inventory. Next up, I want to go to the first floor, which is right below me. And I need to go into this operations room here. But you can only get there by going back to the main hall. So let's go back to the main hall now. Now that we're back in the main hall, it's through this area here that you need to go to. And I'm actually going to do this one on camera kind of thing. Because there are so many zombies in this corridor that you need to be prepared for this. The way I tend to do it is I just tend to run past this first guy. And you're going to go around him. If you've done the game like me, there's going to be a lot of zombies here because you didn't board up the walls. There's going to be a guy sitting here waiting for you. So you're going to want to shoot him once and he will go down. There is then going to be another one in the corridor here. So I'm going to shoot him and hopefully he goes down. Two shots. There we go. He goes down. And then I'm going to run into this area right here. So these zombies are going to run after you if you don't do it fast. So the next thing you need to do is open this door that has a chain on it. As you can see, I have the cutting tool here already. But if you don't have the cutting tool, I will show you where that is now on the map. It is actually in the fire escape area here. And it will actually be on the bin here of the fire escape area if you have not already got it. So go to the fire escape area. Go to the bin here and there will be the um, cutting tools for you there. No problem. But I'm going to go ahead and use them now because all these zombies are going to be chasing me, of course. And when you come through here, you're going to see the item we're looking for on here. So I'm going to pick that up now. You can see it's, it's an electronic gadget it's going to be on the table right in front of you so once you've picked that up you want to then run through this door here to get away from these zombies who are chasing us as you can hear behind and then i'm going to show you the route i take so i'm going to speed up a little bit here for you showing you the route i would take to get back up to the c4 area As you can see, we've entered the room now that has the C4 in it. But before you put the C4 or the gadget, sorry, onto the C4, you're going to need to combine them. So click on the gadget, click combine and click on the battery, of course. As you can see, it now has a timer of sorts on it. So we're going to go ahead and try and place it on here now. I wonder if we need to set the timer first. Let's put use and see what happens. It says 10 seconds. Press confirm. And now we're going to need to run away or this is going to blow on us. We'll try and have a look at the explosion if we can. Oh, there you go. It, it did hurt me a little bit, but, you know, kind of worth it to see the explosion there. And that is how you do that one, guys. I hope the video helped. Any comments, leave them in the comment section down below. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching, as always, and take it easy.